She is the first black National Geographic explorer to ever grace the cover of the iconic magazine, and she is on a mission to find and document shipwrecks. Tara Roberts is hoping to find the wreckage from sunken slave ships, humanizing the story of the slave trade and bringing these important stories to light. Roberts' journey and discoveries are chronicled in a new podcast, Into the Depths. Tara, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Hi, it's great to be here. So explain how all of this happened. You had a successful career as a magazine editor, then quit your job a few years ago when you learned about a group of divers who were uncovering the wreckage of slave ships. Describe that discovery and, and how it changed you. So it all started with a picture. <laughs> it was a picture in the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. And it was a picture of a group of primarily black women in wetsuits on a boat. And I had never seen a group of black women in wetsuits on a boat before. So it completely captured my imagination. And I ended up reading more about them. And I discovered that they were a part of this group called Diving with a Purpose, and that their mission was to help search for and document slave shipwrecks around the world. And I was blown away. I knew I had to be a part of this some way. And I'm curious what you've witnessed with your own eyes and your emotional response to, to what you saw. Hmm. It maybe seems like it should be a really sad story. And I say there are definitely sad notes. Um, finding something like a shackle, hmm. like that hits you. That That's not an easy find, especially when you know what what happened there and what happened to the people. There were emotions that came up that I didn't anticipate. And these were emotions of pride, of empowerment, um, of agency. There's a lot of history that has been lost on the ocean floor. They estimate that there are as many as a thousand wrecks down there. But to date, less than 10 have been found and properly documented. And there is something really powerful about being an ordinary person who just likes to scuba dive mm -hmm. and saying that I'm going to raise my hand and I'm going to be a part of finding this history, honoring this history, and raising it from the bottom of the ocean floor and back into humanity's memory. And you use the word empowering, and, and, and I'm curious when, when you talk about it kind of conjuring up that kind of reaction. On your Nat Geo magazine cover, it says, searching for shipwrecks from slavery's hidden past to help heal the present. What is it about the experience that's healing or empowering? There were, I don't know if you know this number, because this was surprising to me, but 1.8 million Africans are estimated to have died in the Middle Passage. But who's mourning these people? Who's grieving them? Um, where are the memorials to them? So part of this work in going down is honoring these ancestors and saying that their lives mattered. And so there is healing, I think, in that. That 1.8 million is a, is a stunning number for sure. Uh, in the podcast, you said that, that what I was experiencing was a sense of longing. I think this is a unique thing for African-Americans. Where is home for us? What did you mean by that? So most African-Americans face what genealogists call the 1870 brick wall. And that just means that before 1870, the U.S. Census did not count identifying details of those who were enslaved. So most of us are not able to trace back. Um, we're not able to know what our ancestors experienced. We don't have those stories. We have a lot of the stories of pain and trauma, but we don't have stories of their lives. I wasn't able to trace back to a slave ship, but I was able to, I hired a genealogist and I was able to find out more details about my great, great grandfather who was born enslaved. And he's somebody whose history I was afraid of. I was afraid it was gonna be way too painful um, for me to face it. And so I didn't really wanna touch it. 
But because of this process, because of going back, because of encountering this evidence from the past, it gave me the courage to look back at my own family. And what I found was amazing. My great great grandfather, who was born enslaved, turned out to be an entrepreneur. He was a real estate investor. He was, he fought in the United States colored troops in the Civil War, like all these details that my family didn't know we were able to find out. And so now I find, I feel all this pride for my ancestors. And that wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't have started to do this work. Well, just fascinating conversation. Tara, thank you so much for talking with us tonight. You can listen to Into the Depths podcast now. And the March issue of National Geographic's magazine is online and on newsstands now. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.